the uh, boat and hunting and fishing show here at the Edmonton Expo Center. Um, I know nothing about boating, so I had to go undercover. That's why I have this douchey sweater, my sunglasses, my martini glass. And we're going to talk to some boaters and hunters and see what we can learn. All right, I'm a university student and a journalist. I make low five figures a year. So what kind of boat can I afford at this boat show today? Uh, we're here with... It's uh, Louis. Louis. Phone's ringing, Louis. What's the biggest fish you've ever caught? I caught a 140-pound halibut. You get girls if I buy this boat? Insane. What other activity, whatever sport can you do that you can get 12 girls to come on bikinis? Yeah. They're not going to follow you to do anything else other than that. Yeah, getting wet, right? Yeah, that's right. The girls like getting wet. Did you eat them or did you put them on the wall? Uh, you know, we ate some, we released some. Yeah, I mean, it's a blend. You don't eat them all, obviously. But we try and avoid using the term uh, party boats. Insurance companies don't like that. But yeah, right. however, how, whatever you want to do on them, there's places for all kinds of beverages and food. and, and uh, What about sex boat? Do they like sex boat or we can't say that? Oh, uh, we can't say that either. One guy we talked to said that he didn't like the term party boat. Is that like a thing amongst boaters? No, I like calling them party boats. All right, we're inside a camper and we're about to take a tour and see how nice this place really is. Basically just a kitchen here. We got a stove, uh, a sink. Uh, this is nicer than my house, actually. Carrying a bow around make you look like an instant badass all the time? Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Pretty just, walk, just walk around with it in public when you're going out and nobody will mess with you at all? I do. Yeah, it seems to work. I'm wondering, what's the most dangerous thing you've ever shot? Uh, well, I personally have shot a lion uh, with a bow and arrow, so that was very close, within 20 yards, so it was quite an experience. So, uh, can you tell us a bit about this car or Jeep you're selling? How crucial is it to fishing and hunting to have a good vehicle? Oh my god! No? Um, so when you shoot a lion, like what did you do with it? Did you get it mounted or do you eat it or what? Uh, you don't eat it, but I do have a life-size mount at home over top of an Impala, so a very impressive piece. And will buying a big truck or Jeep make my penis bigger? Yes. All right, great. That's all I actually really wanted to know. Well, we're a cemetery funeral home company, and we do like pre-planning ahead of time for families. And it seems, I guess, very fitting that you're at a hunting show selling this stuff, eh? True story, I'm being totally serious when I say this, I have a major bird phobia. There's some live birds of prey up there. I'm about to go up there and uh, hopefully uh, work out my fears. Which ones do I need to stay away from? Uh, the turkey vulture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, he's a biter. Oh, God. There, you go. there we go. That's as much as I'm doing, I'm sorry. Oh, he's making eye contact with me and I don't, ugh. Yeah, he's just, he's checking you out, so. He's just showing off at this point. Yeah, he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna poop. Good. There you go. All right, good. I wasn't. <laughs> You're on the right side of him. Well, at the hunting and uh, fishing show, uh, we are currently hunting for a corn dog. Let's hope we can find one. Journey, <laughs> our epic journey has come to a conclusion. We found a corn dog. Ladies and gentlemen, I've hunted and killed the deadliest game of all: a corn dog. It's good. Well, our time here at the hunting and boat show went by faster than a speeding bullet, but I definitely got wet. We made some waves talking to some people who knew their stuff about fishing and hunting and boating, and it was wild. I'm Darcy Robchan.